that he does Marvel's Iron Fist. So in the last episode, Danny and Hogarth are trying to get Danny his rightful portion of the company back, but it seems like Joy and Ward are just kind of fighting back against that, and their father seems to have some type of plan for uh, Danny, but still don't know what it is, not really. Um, and then Ward is like going back and forth about wanting to stay with the company or wanting to leave altogether and start anew. And Joy is also very indecisive on whether or not she wants to be friends with Danny and insults him and then helps him. So, yeah, now uh, Hogarth has DNA evidence to prove that Danny is who he says he is and the rightful heir to the company so joy was the one that gave him the evidence too so i'm just like okay whatever then but yeah i guess we're just gonna have to see where that's going anyway and colleen is off being a mega badass and doing cage fighting because she wants to help out one of her students i think or maybe she's just doing it for the dojo but i mean we got to see a really cool fight for her. So, yeah. I hope all this legal stuff either gets worked out or put on the back burner and we get to see more Iron Fist and Colleen fighting together. Because that'd be really cool. And we also have Madame Gao, who I guess is supposed to be watching over Harold because they had a deal or something when she when he was resurrected, she didn't resurrect him because she's not affiliated with the Hand, I think. Mm, yeah, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, she's watching over him for some reason, and I think that's about it. So for this episode, you know, hope to see Claire. Um, yeah, hope to see Misty Knight, and that's pretty much it. I'm really digging it so far. I guess that people just really didn't like it for their own reasons so i think it's pretty good actually <laughs> once you get past the first episode the first episode was a hot mess but yeah it's not that bad marvel's iron fist season one episode four eight diagram dragon palm let's get started i can't really move from this position because hobo seems to be very needy today so pet 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 so much love pet 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 Ew, you're shitting oh he didn't plunge to his death. That's good. Who was it that threw him out the window, though? I didn't get a good chance to see. Oh, yeah, I forgot. At the end of the last one, he fell out of the fucking window. To his death. Just kidding. No, he didn't. I really like this pillow, right? Where is he? Oh! He's inside of the dad's house? The dad's room? Last I remember, I was climbing up. Yeah, my goddamn daredevil. <laughs> Everyone knows who daredevil is. That's cool. Me off the <laughs> He's like, your dad's alive. Your dad, why aren't you reacting? You see him too? <laughs> no, I had to see for myself. I was wondering yeah, why him and his son kind of looked similar in age, but now that they now that they brought up that maybe because he was brought back to life, he doesn't age as quickly. That kind of makes sense. For all I've got. Oh my gosh, that's so sad. Danny, don't hug him. He's evil. I bet he's the reason Danny's parents no, died. So long. I've been to hear that. Oh wow. He's just like, all I do is disappoint my father, and the guy I hate most is getting a hug from him. And then I was brought to back to life miraculously by undead zombie ninjas. Shit I've ever experienced. I like how he's saying all this very calmly, like maybe Danny wouldn't understand. 
breathing again. Even though he's seen he's Danny's seen. magical power. <laughs> like a fable. More like Satan and his demons than anything real. Oh, Satan in the Marvel Universe he's confirmed. You punch through that steel door at the hospital. Yeah. So he's not gonna question how he knows all this. Oh, he doesn't know that Joy didn't know. I'll keep your secret. I wouldn't let anything happen to Joy. But Joy just ugh, betrayed you and then not betrayed you and then helped you. I don't know what's up with Joy, man. Joy needs to figure her shit out. No offense to Danny, but he's been living in a monastery studying Kung Fu. This isn't an Okay, it wasn't his fault that he got stranded there. Give him his dad's old office while we're at it. Yeah, great idea. Make it happen, Ward. I've got big plans for you, Danny. That's what you get for being a dickhead, Ward. What about now? Only recently they they demanded we purchase a local pier out near uh, where where was it? Oh, oh that would explain why they want the pier. So they're giving us a bit of timeline for the show. I guess this takes place. Before uh, Daredevil 2, I think. But there was Chinese New Year, so that's the middle of February. Mm. That'd be great, yeah. Danny is so happy to be back with him. Even though he's fucking evil. You're not my brother. <laughs> Good for you. He scoffed at him. Oh, that was more of a warning not to get attached or something. She's just like, oh shit. Online. What? He was the one that posted it. I channeled my inner dad. Figured he'd want it. You need to channel your inner dad into your fist. Turn it into a deadly weapon. Do they get a different secretary every day or something? I like it. Danny's just like, what's wrong with that? Ah! Hogarth is like, no, don't wave at me. He's never had to do a press interview before. And Rand matters. This shot is pretty cool with them two in the background. So overwhelming. I felt out of control. Thankfully. Hogarth is just like, don't worry, whatever stupid shit you say, we'll fix it later. Fifteen years? And they only want to ask him questions about the hospital? Pay money. Ooh, you don't do that. Thanks. He's like, I'm not liking all this professional stuff. Danny, what are you doing? Aww. I'm gonna send a courier to pick up these contracts once you're done. Daniel. Is she going to get her own office now? Extraordinary. He's like, man, I'm used to running up walls, not sitting at a desk. Roughly Ooh, way to go, Danny. Danny boy, you're late. What is he doing? Is he pushing it over to sit with Joy? <laughs> He's so awkward, man. Oh, Danny boy. You are the new kid in school and you're about to get bullied. Is he wearing like sneakers or something? You know, Colleen, you could get so much more practice if you tried it with a real human. For a profit if you win. Oh, fuck. She's 
was like, I can fix this, right? Dude, I wonder what he does when he runs out of mints. Does he just like hate everyone for the entire day? Good job today. You handled Denny's introduction to the world with real class. I couldn't have done it better. Thanks. He's like, oh, my dad's praising me now. Love you, son. Oh fuck. <laughs> this makes me so uncomfortable. What is he going to do to that reporter? Because I kind of like you, but I'm indecisive about if I want to like you or not. I can't get a read on her. Is she just like, I don't know, pretending with Danny for some ulterior motive? Or is she actually feeling bad? Or is she just full of shit? Did Colleen end up back there? Or who is that? Ha! She went back! Cause she can't handle it anymore. Dude, if her dojo gets more students because of this video, it's just like, whoa. You ready for the fight of your life? I like how he's not even questioning her anymore just because he saw what she can do in the last fight. And now people are cheering for her. Oh man, this is so cool. Isn't this the guy that she kicked his ass already? Is he checking her out? Dude, Colleen is so cool, man. Did she just use her head to- oh. Shit. Little girl's about to break your arm! Oh shit, I don't want to see that. It's bending the wrong way! Ah! Colleen! She's just so like, whatever about it now. Ooh. Dang, that girl be crazy. Well, I don't think you could have gotten to the monastery pre-crash. Every morning. Every morning. That was the easy part. And, it was trained and the girl's just like, dang, those monks are harsh. I am the Iron Fist. No, honey, that didn't make you a guy living in a deluxe apartment. Your heritage did. Or your blood did. He's like, but I really do just prefer tea. Oh, is she about to get kidnapped by the hand or something? Well, at least they didn't come underestimating him. <gasps> oh, fuck. It's on now. This is cool. This fight scene. That is the longest elevator ever, I swear. This is a cool angle, too. Looking down on the fight. <laughs> That was hilarious, dude. Oh, no, no, no! Fuck. Whoa! That was fast! <laughs> I like this angle. It's really cool. Did she try punching someone and then was like, ah, that hurt? That's funny. <laughs> And this guy's still alive, but he just decided to lay on the floor in pain. But, uh, I have an early morning deadline. Allison? Dude, Listen, I don't think that's what your dad meant by handle it. You're gonna get your ass kicked. And all the bourbon that went to your head is gonna come out your guts. What? Oh, that's Colleen. I thought she was dying. Oh, fuck. Did you at least make good money? Triads. Dangerous. Sounds right. That's it? They're just a group of triads? They're not connected to the hand? <laughs> Why do you want to become the Iron Fist sworn to protect the <laughs> 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 
It was him. <laughs> Who could force a giant business like Rand to do anything? Here's your phone. Mm. He's just like, oh. <laughs> oh, gosh. He doesn't know anything, but say the hand and everyone backs up. He should use that, like, all the time whenever anyone's bugging him. Even if it's not true. Put it on. Is that a bag to go over his head or something? What is that? For a ride. <laughs> Madam Cow is so cool. Okay, exhale. <laughs> Better. <laughs> now she's <Okay>. training. <laughs> if the two of them become friends, I'll totally stop hating Joy. Pop it back into place. Easy. I don't want it back in place. I like it right where it is. <laughs> She's just like, fuck you, but thank you. See around. If the two of them become badass, like, oh my gosh, that'd be so cool. She even took off her heels. Oh. So if you find out first, I'll tell you. And if I find out first... Oh, wait. What's his reward? His daughter? Oh. I get it. Is he about to die? Is he going to go and kill them all? Holy fuck! He totally would. Dude. I guess now we know between the two of them which one was his favorite child. Did they bring guns? I don't think that would pierce the skull, though. Right? I don't think he'd be dead from that. I didn't see it go through skull. Just, like, tap the skull. Oh. It was him. Daniel Wren, corporate hero. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he, like, I don't know why Ward is so upset. He did this. So now he's going to become the beloved billionaire playboy, right? That's what we're going to get. Don't open it. it. Could be a bomb. Oh, wait, have we seen Danny's chest yet? I think we're about to! Yeah, yeah. Oh! There we go! I think that's the first time we see it! Oh, has a little inner outline too. Oh, it was so cold in his room. Okay, it's over. <laughs> Just ended. Alright, so another really cool looking episode. Holy crap! Madam Gao! And I don't, I don't remember her being the leader of the hand in the second season of Daredevil, but yeah, I thought she had her own thing going on. Mm, maybe she upgraded after the whole, I don't know, black sky thing, but yeah, that's kind of interesting to see that she's with the hand now. Hmm. Grandmother kind of always did her own thing, or she had the blind servants, but hey, you know, 
guess uh, they might give us some explanation in that. But yeah, this is like, whoa, this episode was really cool. We got super awesome fight scenes. He used the Iron Fist. More Colleen Wing, just like kicking ass. Um, yeah, and then we just get to see like the other affiliations of people that have an issue with Rand Corporation. Uh, it also seems like they're pushing Ward to the edge. He's always been, you know, not good enough or not a good son. Kind of a giant shit lord. And maybe he'll finally take a stand for himself. Instead of being pushed around. Maybe. Who knows? But if he decides to fight with... You know, Danny for absolutely no reason, which he probably will. Eh, unless he's enhanced in some way, that's not going to end in his favor. And I love how they're showing how Danny's inclusion into the company is affecting everyone else. So, you know, now everyone sees him as a hero for putting aside his own profit for helping... You know, people that can't afford the drugs. So this is going to be really cool to watch. And I'm actually pretty excited for the next episode. So, yeah. So thank you so much for liking and subscribing. And I'll see you next time. Bye! Hey everyone! Just caught this Mimikyu over here. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what you saw, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking that circle button up there. Or you can check out some more of my videos along here. I also have a Patreon set up that you can find by clicking that square button down there. See ya. Mimikyu, you shadow ball!